Hey there YouTube, I'm Yukitsu, this is Yukitsu Times, welcome to my channel. Welcome to more Rome 2 Total War and the uh, last of the Barbarian Factions. As you can see, I've got the Masagate here, I've got a mix of uh, Saka Cataphracts and uh, Armored Lancers. And the uh, Armored Lancers I prefer for the most part. We're up against the Arverni, so uh, we should be against a decent number of Noble Cavalry or uh, something of that sort. Or maybe he just brought a whole ton of spears. And uh, in case he's brought a whole ton of spears, I've brought myself uh, a good number of archers that will be trying to skirmish with him, but for the most part, we're going to be dealing with our heavy cavalry here, uh, which is where the majority of my money is put, uh, despite the fact that I've only got like nine units of cavalry here. Uh, these guys, incredibly, uh, incredibly high stats here. These guys have got really high melee attack for a shock cavalry. You would never really expect shock cavalry to last well in a protractor melee. They've even got high melee defense. Saka cataphracts are similar but less so. They've really got a good melee attack at 47, which is really good. Uh, but, you know, it's not necessarily going to be enough to uh, win you a battle just alone. You still need to use your units effectively and appropriately. So don't throw away your uh, cavalry into fights that they aren't going to be winning. So we're going to sort of do similar thing to what we did in our game with the uh, Scythians, just we're going to rush our archers forward. We want to see what our opponent is doing, see what sort of composition he has, and then uh, base our strategy off of that. If he has a lot of infantry, we need to whittle his numbers down with our archers. Uh, if he has lots of uh, missile troops, we should be able to swarm him pretty effectively. Uh, swarming is not the same as just rushing in uh, into melee combat and uh, trying to kill your opponent outright. It's actually a much more sort of complex thing where you sort of feign attacks along multiple areas. Now let's see here. He's got scorpions. Okay. Well, um, that's going to actually hurt his numbers quite a bit. But he's still going to be able to put quite a lot of hurt on me if I let those get into my Saka cataphracts. Uh, now, if he's just shooting at my archers, that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, he's only got three noble cavalry, it looks like. Uh, you can see he's already starting to take shots at me at those, uh, whatever they're called, scorpions. And he's got some slingers as well, which are also pretty good against me. Um, but it's pretty much not going to be enough to make me worry about this yet. I'm going to start moving cataphracts along the uh, sides and flanks here. Uh, let's see here. Let's see... You might be able to pick off some of these members of these, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good volley that killed, like, most of that, uh, Celtic Scorpion over there. So, this is going to do a lot of damage to him. Uh, that's really what we're going for here, is to just do lots and lots of, uh, missile damage quickly. Move our units away, and then, uh, be in a good position when the melee fight starts. And, uh, I'm gonna assume that that Celtic Scorpion is just gone now, so we're gonna try and just not fire too much at it. Uh, these slingers over here are going to be difficult to get to and potentially be a problem. Oh god. Okay, so we're going to move these guys away from here. Okay, so these guys look like they're going to get caught and that's fine by me. Uh, it means that we're going to get lots and lots of free shots against these guys. Okay, so those guys are gone now, too. All we need to do now is get rid of these uh, skirmishers here. So, I think these noble cavalry, or these, uh, or Verney cavalry, are just going to take a bit of a pounding from arrows, but more to the point, uh, this gives me a lot of time to clear out a lot of his other troops. As you can see, we're also starting to do some uh, side and rear shots into these spear nobles. It's killing them really quickly here. Okay, so we're going to draw back a lot of our forces here. Step archers are doing an amazing job of killing a lot of these infantry. Uh, specifically, I'm killing a lot of these spear nobles, which is what I want to be killing, primarily. Uh, looks like these um, frenzied charge guys are going to finish off my guys pretty quickly at this point, but that's fine by me. Ooh, you got some uh, nice peel them off against my guys. Okay, so let's hopefully not use too many more arrows against those guys that are running away. And uh, we've just lost those both units of uh, the Saka Nobles, uh, but that's okay. It gave us a lot of opportunities, so I'm not going to bemoan that loss too much. 
Now, we're shooting at these units from behind right now, so this is a good time to keep up the pressure uh, because he doesn't get to use those big old shields that he gets. And Celtics uh, actually have pretty decent shields, so this is going to be a good opportunity to deal lots of damage to him. There we go. Down to 38 in this unit, 95 in that one. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep pelting away with arrows. We're almost out of ammunition here, but uh, we're still going to be able to do quite a lot of damage here. I'm going to turn off fire will since I don't want to be firing at his uh, cavalry here. Um, at all, basically. So, I'm going to turn off fire at will. Uh, we're going to run back in, we're going to turn it back on, and we're actually going to turn on our... Uh, improved heavy shot or whatever this is. What is this? Precision shot, sorry. And uh, this will let us deal a ton of damage in a short period of time. Since we're starting to run low on arrows, I don't really mind the exhaustion quite as much as I normally would. So our opponent's sort of balled up nice and tight, and he wants to really make sure that I can't uh, easily just charge in and destroy him. While simultaneously, he's sort of protecting his troops as best he can against um, all my archer fire. Okay, so uh, my units uh, run out of their precision shot. That's fine. Uh, looks like some of them have also run out of arrows, which is a bit unfortunate, but all he's really got left are the sword units. Uh, now, uh, he's missing a lot of spear nobles. His noble horse is also really depleted, so he's going to have to really rely on those oath sworn doing a lot of damage, and they can do a lot of damage. The problem is that I've got mostly all shot cavalry, which are pretty good against uh, what he's fielding here, so... Uh, it's not necessarily going to be as bad as it otherwise could be, but uh, it's definitely not the best situation, especially because he's redline camping. Can't honestly blame him given the circumstances. He does kind of, he is kind of up against an army that uh, doesn't really allow him to do what he wants to be doing. Uh, so he does kind of have to do something uh, to stop me from just uh, doing what I'm doing, which uh, you know normally would involve getting around his flanks, getting around his rear, but. Uh, let's try and target his general here. Okay, so uh, most of our units are actually out of like arrows, so uh, you know. I'm actually willing to let this happen here. Now those guys are down to 24 men. Uh, let's see here what I can do with these guys, though. I still want to finish off mostly uh, weakened units if I can. This should be the end of his uh, cavalry component. He's making, in my opinion, a bit of a mistake here, moving up his infantry like this. Since it gives me an opportunity to sort of uh, move my units around him. He should really sort of, uh, really try and make the best use of that advantage that the uh, map edge was giving him. Okay, so uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay, what are these guys doing here? Let's get them. Uh, let's get a good charge against the rear of these oath sworn here. Let's get our missile riders in on this guy. Let's get our armored lancers to uh, get a bit more armor here. Oops, got our general caught there. It's not good. Let's get uh, another charge against those guys here. Let's uh, activate trample for this quick charge here. And uh, that is going to be our enemy rudder off the field here. He took a lot of damage from missiles before that main engagement. He probably should have taken a few more missiles. Looks like he's uh, quitting out of the game because reasons. Yeah. And uh, that's the uh, Masagate. As you can see, the shot cavalry for them, just really, really powerful. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not going to take any nonsense from those uh, Scorpions. They're just not a good counter against uh, the Masagate. Anyway, that's the last of the Nomadic Factions. And as always, I hope to see you all next time.